Perry Moss Basketball Perry Victor Moss, born November 11, 1958, is an American former National Basketball Association NBA basketball player. Moss played basketball at Northeastern University under coach Jim Callum, where he averaged 15.2 points per game and 3.7 rebounds per game in four seasons there. In his senior season, Moss was named the America East Conference Men's Basketball Player of the Year. Moss graduated as a school's second leading career scorer with 17.22 points and a 15.2 average in 113 games. He was considered the most explosive guard in New England and one of the most athletic players in the nation. In 1982 he went head-to-head with future NBA All-Star Dominique Wilkins and the Georgia Bulldogs in the first round of the Gotten State Classic. Despite a big game for Moss, the Huskies lost, but Lakers GM Jerry West, who was in the audience, noted that Moss was the best guard he had seen that year. On his home court, Moss would dazzle the fans with his acrobatic dunks created by his 41-inch vertical leap. As a junior in 1981, Moss teamed with guard Pete Harris to lead the Huskies to their first of seven conference titles. His career included a number of clutch shots, including Moss's half court bomb that sent the championship game versus Holy Cross into overtime, which NU eventually won 76 69. He also hit a last second shot in the opening round of the NCAA tournament when NU knocked off 20s ranked Fresno State before buying out to Utah. Moss and the Huskies repeated defeat a year later, as Moss averaged 23.7 points per game. NU defeated Street Joseph 63-62 in the first round, before dropping a heart-wrenching triple overtime affair to Villanova in the second round. Moss scored 23 and 31 points respectively in those two games. For his career, Moss scored over 30 points eight times and made seven straight all-tournament squads. Moss was then drafted with the 23rd pick in the third round of the 1982 NBA draft by the Boston Celtics, but he was released before playing a single game. Prior to the 1983-84 NBA season Moss was signed by the New Jersey Nets, but was once again released before playing a single game. He played two years in the Continental Basketball Association CBA before making his NBA debut for the Washington Bullets in the 1985-86 NBA season. He was released mid-season. Moss finished the 1985-86 season by playing for the Philadelphia 76ers. After the season, Moss was once again released, but he did play for the Golden State Warriors in the 1986-87 NBA season. On Sept 27, 1989, he was signed by the Orlando Magic but was waived before the start of the regular season. In total, he played in 136 NBA games and averaged 3.9 points and 1.5 assists. Moss spent the next decade playing with a string of CBA teams, including the Lacoste Catbirds and the Topeka Scissors 1988-1989, Rockford Lightning 1991-1992, Yakima Sunkins 1993-1994, Hartford Hellcats player-slash-coach 1994-1995, and the Connecticut Pride player-slash-coach 1995-1996. In all, he played on 10 CBA teams in 11 years, and finished a CBA career in 1995 playing for the Connecticut Pride team that also featured future UConn coach Kevin Ollie in his rookie season. Despite sustaining injuries, including the broken ankle that sidelined him for the 1990-1991 season, Moss's emphasis on high-level fitness and healthy eating gave him remarkable longevity. At the age of 39, he finished his final professional basketball season in 1997 playing for the Nordschneptons of the Atlantic Basketball Association. On May 22, 2013, it was announced that Moss would be inducted into the New England Basketball Hall of Fame as part of its Class of 2013.